<laughs> we had, uh, I'm with a lovely, lovely girl. First of all, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. It's Christmas time. We're having all kinds of hubbub, tons of events. Uh, it's just nonstop action. I'm with a wonderful guest today, Natalie Nagengast, who I met here in Clearwater when she had an incredible market. Uh, just the most amazing time we had at Pier Street. Yeah, it was great. And it was great, yeah. you know, and she, she had a whole... Just like so professionally done with food trucks and there was areas for this and areas for that. And then we were by the water and it was just the best. But it's no longer on Pier Street, but it was a springboard to a very big adventurous life that Natalie is now living because you yes. go all over the country with your markets for makers. Yeah, we're now in five cities and next year we'll be in six cities with Chicago being launched. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'm excited. Well, Chicago's a big deal, so I think you have to be there. Yeah. I just saw pictures. Um, first of all, there's a great Facebook page, Markets for Makers, mm -hmm. and um, Natalie has pictures and lives. She goes live on uh, Facebook, and she has these shows all the vendors and all the cool things that she does. And believe me, this is not your typical, you know, crafters market, you know, where the little wonderful ladies are sitting there with the little angels they made out of, you know, an acorn. We're talking like amazing vendors, right? Organics. Yeah. We've always focused on discovering a new brand. So that's kind of our our uh, goal is to, when you come to the market, to continue to discover new brands. So as we grow, we're hoping to pull from more cities from all over the U.S. So we're not competing with the small local markets, which right. we've been kind of getting out of. Sure. Well, that yeah. makes sense. And then yeah. everybody wins on that. Exactly. It works really well because we always have locals. But then we also have this other part where you can find brand new brands you've never seen. So and that's really so neat. cool. I mean, if you are going to be looking for that gift, you know, mm -hmm. for your special granddaughter or, yeah. you know, someone is having a baby and you have all these like organic, oh yeah, you know, things that you yes. can't just find in your regular store. No, I mean, when we had Pier Street, it, we tried to do a mixture of makers and food, um, like farmer's market types of food. So you'd have all kinds of cheeses and things. Now we have mainly just makers. So if that means anyone that creates a product and so that would be or an artist or or uh you know we kind of draw the line at fine art because that's its kind of own genre but these are someone yeah, that their own could, festival well yeah i mean you would you would consider a maker would be an item that we price between 20 and 50 dollars is kind oh, of what i think that's good and fine know. artists you know they're thousands of dollars so you'll find a lot of prints if you're going to find artists at the show okay yeah that makes a lot of sense now with holidays do you find that you have people jumping on you know, specifically, like, they're a big holiday vendor? or I mean, is this yeah. one in Tampa that we have coming up going to see a lot of holiday stuff? Well, it's interesting because we try not to do the holiday, like, you know, there's a lot of gift shows that are out there that have a lot of holiday products that are going to be the Santa Clauses and the all the different types of Christmas tree ornaments. Gotcha. You're going to find gifts at this type of a show. Oh. So you're going to find um, all kinds of different types of candles and body care, tons of boutiques, and then you've got specialty goods. Um, I mean, there's so many different types of them. I'm trying to think in my head. Oh, lots of plants. I have a lot of people that do succulents. And I have one guy that, um, Alfred Lane, last week, he does um, men's cologne. And so you can just Ooh. find different, yeah, and leather goods. And, and he produces the, the actual oh, yeah, scents. And, and it's the, so, oh, it smells delicious. Oh, but so then, like you'll have a guy yeah. that goes like, I like bergamot plus yeah. a little bit of citrus. Oh, I have it with me, actually. You, you do? Know, like, no I, way. He gave me a few, and so it smells. I am like, I, am like, I live in my nose. I may as well be a really? basset hound. <laughs> he, it smells so good. Okay, here's one of his, Alfred Ooh. Lane. This was this was in Jacksonville. I'm still working on talking him into Tampa. It smells delicious, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's lovely. That's like a, a balm. Ooh. That he has. I have so many different little things because they all. I walk around and they give me give me gifts and I love it when they do that because then I get to talk about them. Yeah. But yeah, so you're gonna find really unique types of. Here's another one right here, Brio. This is one Beautiful. of my favorites. Beautiful. Smells so good. I'll let you open that one. Yeah. It's only one hand. But um. But yeah. So Ooh. I've always. Yeah, I know. And then this is the last one, Bravado. Bravado. Delicious. Sounds like. My time would be called macho. I know exactly. Ooh. They're, they're gorgeous. And they, but they're you amazing. know that one was more in my brain, like more that. of a Brio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, this oh, is like an example, and I just love. He's got really. But good look packaging. at that great application. Like you oh, just, yeah. you can just have it now. You may not have a man purse, but oh yeah, you I love can it totally. Oh, I love it because you know, there's box. always that day where you're like, oh, I 
feel like it's really hot in Florida. <laughs> did I or did I know I put the deodorant or on? Like, I just want to smell a little bit better because I just feel a little bit not so good. But I can't remember um, what the product was. But years ago, there was a commercial, yeah. and it was like. You never know who you might meet. And oh, I was really? thinking that's like that would be a great that, line for that's this. That's like those um the poopery ones where it's like yes. spritz. You know, those are oh, I love their marketing. Hysterical. They have the best marketing ever. And it yeah. really takes it right to the edge, that marketing. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so you're almost like, oh, it's almost a little uncomfortable. Oh, absolutely. But fun. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so yeah, when you come out, I mean we'll have food trucks. So this is really cool about this location in Tampa. We're gonna be here this weekend. I don't oh know yeah, tell that. tell them where it is. No, yeah, tell so, it is this weekend. Yeah, so in Tampa we'll be um, at the Cuban Club's back. Back lot. So I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but it's a very large parking lot. It's nice and fenced in, so it makes it nice and easy for us. And then um, you'll get tickets. So when you come in, you get a free tote, you get free flowers at your Flower Crown um, station, and free oh, gift wrapping. We gotta stop right there. I know we have to talk about the flower crown. We gotta talk about the flower yes. crown. So, so this was one of the things that I thought was so clever, and yeah. I love to feature clever people. And Natalie is. Clever with a capital C. I really, ad- I mean it. I really admire you. I love following you on Facebook. I love seeing all the changes and the and yeah. the growth. And everyone on your team just seems to have so much fun. Yeah, we have an amazing time, and we have an amazing team. So all the girls. I mean, we have all the girls, and then we have Ryan, who's in um, who's in Nashville, and he's our our one token guy at the moment. She poor I Ryan. Love him. With I all love those him. He picks up girls. all the heavy things. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> it's like a harem. Are you kidding oh, me? No, yeah, Ryan he loves is, us. Ryan may complain, but trust me, Ryan oh, yeah. is happy. He loves us. He <laughs> absolutely loves us. We all have these girl gang T-shirts. We made him have one too. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but you know, when so the we, flower crown. Yes, yeah, so the flower crown. So um, we really wanted to focus on not just having a market, but an experience. And so, so much of millennials these days were very experience driven. So. Um, what we did is we decided to do flower crowns. We've been talking about it for a long time, and I figured out how to do it. So we, have, we buy a bunch of fresh flowers, we put out all the supplies, and we actually let people become makers themselves. So as we grow, you're going to see us next year be adding a lot more classes as well. So oh. you're going to be able to come to the, the uh, market and get an upgraded ticket, and you can go build your own macrame uh, planter or so you'll paint learn a, a painting, skill. or yeah, or do some cross sketching, learn a skill because that's the whole idea is to try to like inspire someone's artistic ability because everybody's a maker and anyone everybody's can do it. Everybody's a maker. Oh, anyone can do it. I mean, even I was just learning how to make these little pennant flag banners. I don't know if you saw any of them, yes. but they're on canvas. I was cutting out canvas. I am the least artistic. Like, I can't paint a painting or sketch anything. I look like it's like third grade, but if you get, you know, there's different types of tools out there to help you so you can iron things on and create all kinds of designs. Sure, applique. Oh, there's just so many things I can, I you became, can do. I became an applique girl because I had four kids, mm-hmm. and I have that maker oh, yeah. desire in mm-hmm. me, but I never learned fine skills. So oh, to yeah. me, I go into stores and I see fabrics, and I yeah. go, I could cut that out, and I could iron that on. And oh, they, yeah. Look, thank God for Michaels. They, they taught you how to do that. Yeah, so. and I was really lucky. I mean, my dad is an artist, so my dad is a, was a potter all throughout the 70s, and oh, it's yeah, one yeah. of the reasons why I knew about art shows. So when I was growing up, we went to art shows all over. Before I was born, they were touring all over the U.S. doing art shows all over the U.S. So anytime I have questions, I'm always asking him, okay, so what should I do in this scenario? You know, a vendor said this, what do I do? You know, and he's so awesome. So um, when I first started Pure Street Market, I was kind of leaning on him for different guidance and ideas, but a lot of it is the fact that I started as a little jewelry maker. I don't know if you remember this, but yeah, Coco, I, was a yeah, Coco. Coco and Marie. So I started it with my best friends because I was trying to learn marketing, and I thought, what's tiny and little, and then I can make really easy, and you don't really need that much like artistic talent. And so we came up with this, and we were doing um, different shows down in St. Pete and Tampa, and it took us like an hour to get there every time. So we thought, oh, let's do something close, and that's where Pier Street Market was born. So, so from there, it somehow just kept growing and growing and growing. And well, you I, saw how people loved it. I mean, I used to I was do. Surprised. You didn't know it, but I used to do Facebook lives. Oh, really? Because it was new then, and oh, yeah. I was like, "Dang, this oh, is this great! Is awesome. Look at That's them over awesome. here." W. D. Han was playing, and oh, yeah, little kids were there. And then I was smelling things, and I was just like zooming oh, yeah. in on the vendors. Oh yeah, we had it all, and we even had the jewelry up for a little while. And I even tried. My hand at like mini donuts. We got a mini donut machine for a very short period of time, and then I, thought, I have a popcorn maker to sell. Oh, you. there you go. <laughs> well, it's just too much to coordinate. It is enough to coordinate just your own market at this point. So maybe one day we'll have like lots of little things inside the markets. But oh, 
we're, we're, we'll, we'll get there. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, the markets, I mean, just enough to coordinate all the DIY. We really want to get to that point where, you know, you walk in the market and there's all these new makers and we have a high rotation. So you don't really see the same people right. all the time. And so, um, what we want to do is you walk in, you've got all these different free DIYs where we normally have a lot of photo booths, but because we're outside in the Cuban club, I don't know how many, if any, we're going to have this weekend because it's outdoors. They, they will become sales in Florida. <laughs> They'll just fly away and hit someone. So, so it's tell, me, uh, tell me when you say we'll have, we usually have several photo booths. So they, yeah. are they themed or like what, what can someone well, expect? Normally, so in Tampa, we won't have any photo booths, but we will have the DIY experiences. We will have all the makers. We will have the, uh, the food trucks and we have free gift wrapping. So that will be there. And if you come to our other indoor markets where we are in Jacksonville, Miami, Nashville, Indianapolis, and the next year in Chicago, uh, you will find all kinds of photo booths that are sparkly and neon signs and we have props for Christmas. I mean, we just put, we try to create really nice photo booths, but by next year, it'll be even like another step. So oh, yeah. I always say, you know, just get it done and get there and like create a fun experience. And then later we can focus on like making it better, you know, let's sure. just get it started. And then we can always figure it out because sometimes you spend all this money and you realize you didn't need to, you know, Absolutely. So, so we're still learning, but we've got all the little photo booth, um, you know, the ring lights and you get the iPad and you can create all these different little things. Oh, well, it's really fun. fun. Yeah, so it's the Cuban fun. Club is in Ybor City, I take yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's downtown Ybor. And so um, if you just look up the Cuban Club, you will find it very easily. But it is on the south side of the Cuban Club. There's a, an entrance. So and there's going to be again. parking. I think it's right near a big parking. Oh, my gosh. That's the one beautiful thing about the Cuban Club is there is parking on parking. I mean, there's like a five-story parking garage that takes up like five blocks right next I know door. right where it is then. You yep. do. You know yep. exactly where it's it is. It's huge. It's huge. And so, and it's a dollar for like three hours. So it's, you know, it's not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. And so I love that about it. We're still looking for indoor venues in, in Tampa. If we ever do find one, we'll, we'll definitely be doing that. You know, I went to this thing called the Art of the Brick, which was a traveling artist's version of doing Legos. And they okay. were in a really cool venue. I'll find out that one because oh, that yeah. was temporary. anyone out there knows venues yeah. that's like that's our biggest struggle is finding the right venue at the right price and yeah. you know working with them because we'll bring in thousands i mean we just bring in thousands and thousands of girls and we mainly market to girls and then you know boyfriends and husbands get dragged along yeah, but i saw your pictures that's yeah. why we've got the beer and that's why i've got all of We're that selling men and, things. oh yeah men things honestly guys have a lot of fun though they don't feel like it's a girly market we yeah. we very try to be very um you know neutral gender gender neutral in everything yeah. that we do whereas there's other markets that just focus on women-owned businesses women-owned this women-owned you know and, well, that's and a great only thing women but coming. that's not you Oh, it's awesome. And and but we try to kind of create this balance because there's a lot of really awesome guys out there too and we don't want to exclude them. Right. And and behind every guy usually there's like a really strong wife, you know? <laughs> so I don't I don't know what you mean. Someone. I don't know what you're talking yeah, you about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking I've about. I've been married thirty years. Yeah. You have to be strong. Are you kidding me? <laughs> exactly. Usually men usually if you see a really strong man, there's usually like a woman, even if it's his mother, there is going <laughs> to be a strong woman behind that guy. <laughs> well, it's a balance. It definitely is. Oh yeah, for so, sure. So so this is there is a charge for this so how, how does one find out like if people are listening right now oh, yeah. and they want to go what what do they you, like they're going to go I'm interested what do I do yeah so you're going to go on my website so it's marketsformakers.com and then on the home page it says tickets so you can go to the Tampa tickets link right there on the home page and go buy tickets I would highly suggest getting tickets online because it's only seven dollars at the door it's ten and the, the trade off is we get your email and things hopefully if you want to give them to us we'll get it but that way we get to keep in touch with you so that that's been our first year has been really just trying to get everybody on board and trying to get everybody in our community on the same page so that's been a lot of yeah fun. well I'm always impressed with how professional you do everything oh, and like she was in Indiana Indianapolis yeah. yes <laughs> what a venue it was like oh, it's raw beams and huge and just everything was a picture and you were oh, yeah. doing it live and going around and oh, yeah. showing the vendors and everyone is like a surreal like kind of a um, and serene like smile on their faces yeah. not like ah but it was just, yeah. it just looks like the coolest thing. Oh, yeah. That's one thing is that when we come in, we just really like the vibe to be chill and fun. And so it was funny because we had a volunteer this past weekend and she was like, you know, barking at the people coming in like, keep the line moving, you know, and just like, and I, you know, I went over to her and said, hey, you know, 
this is this is a fun time, you know. Let's all let's keep it chill. And she really she got it. She's like, okay. And yeah. the rest of the weekend, she's like really chill with everyone. Yeah, she Come just here. needed the direction. Oh yeah, yeah, she she was used to you know having to like handle. I think it probably overwhelmed with her with how many people come out to all these different markets because you you open the door and you've got four hundred people out the door, and we gotta get them you all checked in. You have to run a lot of control. No, it's true. Oh yeah, and whatever so she fun. did before, she you know especially oh, she was with kids. It's oh yeah, like, oh yeah. She, I think she was used to having kids. Like come on this way. So yeah. it's just really fun because people come in, everyone's really relaxed, especially Sundays. Saturdays can be a little bit hectic because everybody hasn't slept very much and they're all setting up and it's like, you know, like a hustle, the energy is high. And so that's really, you know, like, you know, you get in, there's a lot of people on Saturdays and then Sundays usually is very chill. It's, you know, everybody already has their stuff set up where you all just roll in a little bit later in the day. It's just, it's really fun. I love it. It's, it's a Sunday it's vibe. Oh, yeah. And, and also what Natalie did tell me, which she didn't mention, is that children are free. So oh, yeah. if, uh, you know. Under 12. You, yeah, under 12. You can bring your under 12 and you don't pay. And and I really want to stress that it is an event. This is a, like like an actual really fun way to spend the weekend. Get your girlfriends together. In fact, oh, yeah. you know what we're going to do right now? We have less than 10 minutes left of the show. I want to tell everyone to call in. Uh, the first person to call in and call in at 727, let me see, wait, 727-441-3000, 727-441-3000. And we are going to give away two VIP tickets to the Tampa show. And why is it VIP? You get free drink, you get extra flowers, you get to shop 30 minutes early before anybody. So you get to go in there with that VIP. The makers are just waiting to I, service you. Oh, they got a call. Oh, good. And I oh. forgot, you also get an upgraded tote. So it's it's uh, it's really nice. Everyone loves those VIP totes. I'm yeah. telling